Hello, this is Tyler, and this is how to uh, make a new slideshow for a new song. So this week uh, we are making a new song for, uh, it's called Mighty Saviors by Elevation. And so this is in Pro Presenter. so what you would do is open up Pro Presenter. Uh, it might take a minute, and then, yeah, so this will be kind of what you're going to be looking at right when you walk in. When it opens up, so to make a new song, I'm going to click on this plus sign down here. And it's going to say new document, new playlist. Uh, we want new document. And so this, we are going to name it the name of the song, Mighty Mighty Warrior. I think I might have said Mighty Savior. Mighty Warrior. Um, yes, Mighty Warrior. And just do the default settings. You can click on new. And then you're going to see it comes over here. You have a, um, yeah, a song made for it now. Um, so what I do is I'll look at it. So I want to use a similar template that I have for like all my the rest of my songs Just so that way they look the same way um, So if you've looked if you see all my songs, I have the font set to the way I like it um, And they all kind of look oh, pretty much the same um, like reckless love. I have this little black box um, Or white box behind it. And so like if I'm clicking on that and then that yeah, just add some character to it. Um, so I don't know if that's what I want for this new song, Mighty Warrior. So I'm just gonna do the one I have for In Christ Alone. So what I'm gonna do is copy this. Uh, so what I did is just right click, copy. And I'm gonna come back over to Mighty Warrior and I'm just gonna right click and paste. So it's gonna bring that, um, the lyrics in from In Christ Alone. Um, but now I can copy and paste my lyrics in and it's gonna have that same template. So before I um, like always have a background, I always just get my lyrics in first because I don't really know the feel uh, for the song yet. Um, but so that is what I'm gonna do. So to get in our lyrics, um, I just copy and paste them from the internet. Um, so I'm gonna right click, click edit slide, and I have it up in Google. Um, so I just typed in Mighty Warrior lyrics and make sure it's by the same band. And usually I just do one or two lines if it's, if the lines are really short, I can I can do away with three, but like for this, um, I'm gonna see if I can get two. It might just be the fact that I have one. Um, and then once I have all the lyrics in Pro Presenter, I'll listen to it um, and then edit the slides as needed because I kind of want um, per slide, the lyrics to be you know within a break. And so if there's like a first line of the verse, I don't wanna split um, you know that line when I say line, like a line of lyrics, I don't want to split it up among two slides because it's going to make that transition way more difficult. So I'm going to just copy it, Command C, um, triple click over here, and then I'm just going to Command Option. Uh, let me see, Command Option. Okay, so I did Shift Option Command V, and so what that does, Command Shift Option V. Um, it will paste it in the same style that was already in that text box. So that those two lines that I copy paste, copied and pasted over turned into three lines. So that will actually work out great. So I'm looking at this and it says, you call us out from the depths into your freedom. So I actually like the way this is line running out right now. Um, so I'm just going to continue on. So it looks like two lines is going to be about what I'm expecting to do. Um, so I'm just going to continue doing that. So copy, paste this. And so what's that going to do is it's going to copy the same format down. So now I can click on this one, go back to Chrome, grab another two lines, Command C, bring it back into Pro, paste it, Command Option, uh, Shift V. And there we are again. And just I just keep on going. Um, one thing I will tell you is after a first, after a verse or after a chorus, after um, a segment of the song, I will always do a blank slide in between. So that way I know um, that there will most likely be a pause in the song, but also it's a good time for if I wanna change the motion graphic to do it during that time, because we try to line up our motion graphics with our lighting cues. So um, we will do that all towards the end of the song, but for right now we're just gonna copy our and paste our um, lyrics in but since that's the end of that first verse I'm just gonna click this plus and that's gonna just put a blank slide in there I'm gonna copy that last uh, set of lyrics 
click on that blank slide and paste it right there. And what it'll do is it pastes it, pastes it after that selected slide. So I'll continue doing that for the entire song. Okay, so now that I, uh, so I got all my slides in. Uh, so if you look here, they're all there. And so one thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to listen to the song and I just pull it up on Spotify um, and play it from there. Or if you wanna get real fancy, you can go into our um, multi-tracks and play the exact MP3 from there. Usually they're the same. And if not, it's usually pretty, pretty close. Um, so like I just listened to it real quick and they did the bridge twice rather than once in the actual song. Um, and so that from Spotify to uh, multi-tracks is a little bit different, but what I did is just copied and pasted that series of slides again. But now, so I have all my slides, I'm gonna wanna listen to that song uh, through. So uh, the way I'm gonna start is I'll just, yep, I'm just gonna pull up on Spotify, click it. We're gonna start listening to it. And um, I'm gonna pull it down so you can listen to me. But I'm just gonna go through the slides, make sure all of them line up exactly um, with the song. And then before we get too much further, I see that like this is just a hard transition. Um, so one way I'm gonna switch that is this little button up here. Uh, that's our transition slide. Uh, we're gonna do dissolve. I do that in all so songs uh, and I just keep it at uh, you know one second and that should be good. So whenever you're making a new song, make sure you switch that transition to a fading uh, or dissolve transition. Um, and so I'm gonna to listen to the song. I'm going to make sure all, I'm gonna go through all the slides, make sure they're cor correct. Uh, one thing I do, and people might have some strong opinions about this, but I pull out punctuation uh, in lyric slides just because I feel like it's more of a distraction than anything else. Um, and so, because I do break up, if there's a comma, I'll usually just bump that next word to the next line. Um, and I don't know, it's just when you're reading them on the screen, you don't wanna look for punctuation. Uh, you just want the words. And so I'll keep in the apostrophes, but commas, periods, um, and even hyphens, I take out. Um, so that's just one thing I do. And so I'm gonna listen to the song. And once I do that, uh, I'm gonna listen to it again. And I'm just gonna try to get a feel for the song. Uh, usually I like to play it pretty loudly just to get the feel of it, like what it would be like live. And I'm gonna choose a motion graphic from down here. And so one way, um, with it being an upbeat song, I want something that's a little bit more, it's gonna be fast, it's gonna be, um, I want bright colors. And so if I don't, I'll look it through the library of what I have. Um, so something with like lasers or like these beams of light, those would actually work pretty cool. Um, I've used a lot of these before, so it might be, I might be due for another um, set of motion graphics and I'll just find them online, either purchase them or download them free uh, to see what's available. And then if I want one of these motion graphics, um, yeah, I'll just drag it in. And so for like that first slide right up here, I wanna drag something in there. Um, so let's find something that I feel like, let me play the song so I can get a feel for it. So like this one might be, oops. right here I don't know if I like it if you want to speed it up if you want to speed it up because um, right now the speed is pretty slow so if I want to do that I'd go to right click go to media properties and then over here in this window you'll go to properties um, it will say play rate and so I can speed it way up and I'll just X out of that and play it click it again and you'll see that it's going a lot quicker. And so that's something I'll, I'll definitely do for this song. Um, and then, but yeah, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna look online to try some, find some um, other graphics to go in there. Okay, so now I found my motion graphic. I just dragged it in from this one that I already had, and then I modified it. So you can right click on it, go to media properties. Um, I turn that play rate way, way up there because I like the speed of this song. Um, and then I went to effects, clicked on adjust color, and you can adjust these to um, these four sliders. I would stick away from the bottom two because that one will just make it really, really dark and hard to see um, or really washed out. So I usually keep those pretty close to zero, but hue and saturation you can mess around with quite a bit to get a color that you like. Um, so then I'm going to, again, play the song. I'm gonna start from the beginning. 
Yeah, I like the speed of that. So then, I like the way this, the lyrics are laying on top of it, so I'm good at that. And what I'm gonna do is continue to listen to the song. I'm gonna look for other motion graphics to place in um, between like the verse and chorus. But for now, um, I have my first motion graphic, but I'm going to go ahead and label all the song uh, slides, whether there's uh, bridge, lyric, or bridge, verse, chorus. And so what you do is you just highlight them um, and then you can right click and you go to slide label. And there's some pre one, like preset ones already in here. Otherwise you can go to other down here at the bottom and make your own. Um, but what you're needing will probably be in there. So like verse one, um, yep, I'm just gonna leave that there. Um, and I can also look on, let's see. So like Google doesn't have it, but I can probably go into like a uh, planning center and find the lead sheet in that and it'll tell me what, um, where the chorus is and all that. So let's look at lyrics. So yeah, verse one starts with you call from the depths and goes to overcome. So, okay, so just these ones are verse one and then we go jump right into verse two. So I'm gonna change these to verse two, slide, label, and verse two. And so this is gonna really help the lighting person know uh, when the cues are. So for verse one or verse two, chorus, whatever that is. Um, so I'm just gonna go through the song and change all those. 